and here we are and here we are guys i haven't made a video in a while i haven't made any kind of video i've been very occupied with things that i have been doing that have kept me occupied uh, i may discuss some of those later i don't know but right now um, i've had one saltwater trip uh, outside of my last crappie trip which is a couple of weeks ago so i have not been fishing sorry to say but today the water looks spectacular i'm on the okichi river and uh, i want to see if i can get a hold of some crappie it's been cool you can see i've got on my outfit uh for cooler weather and let's see if they'll bite they should be starting to uh get wound up let's see what the water temperature is 66 degrees okay so it's dropped about four or five degrees just from when i was here last so let's uh see what we can make happen guys today on nichols retirement empire huh first guy of the morning is not a crappie it's a bluegill a little bluegill Pretty though. Look at that guy. Okay. It's a start. <clears throat> I really don't know where they're going to be. I would think they would be a little more shallow. But I've been catching them in like 12 feet, 14 feet and stuff. I would think I'd be catching them a little, little shallower. Haven't really seen anything on the uh, depth finder. Trying to find a crappie. Found one. It's a good one. I... Oh Lord. He was just out there. I mean, I don't know if he was just suspended. I just moved to this spot. I just made one cast. And he was on there. I didn't feel him hit. I have no answers, but I do have one fish. So that's a start. You always start, and this is just the way fishing is. You always start with one fish. <laughs> I'd like to start with the second fish. That would be so cool. That fish was not in shallow water. Well, I say it would. I'm really, really not sure. Oh. Got a bite. Okay. Maybe things are looking up. Why did I catch that fish? What was it? Do it again. Can I do it again? Another guy. Okay, I didn't feel this one hit it either kind of weird thing going on right now but that's my second crappie maybe they'll pick up a little bit let's see Same 
way. Never felt him at all until he was swimming with it. Little one. Okay. That was a good one. Oh, that was a good one, guys. Well, yeah, it was heavy. That was a big one. across the school of them finally. Pretty good one. They hit it, they're thumping it now. Another good one. Ready? Okay. Every one of those was on a 1 16th ounce jig head with kind of a green pumpkin sort of paddle color paddle tail there. Um, it was just one right after the other there for a little bit. I'm going to move up a little closer because that was a pretty big school of fish. Those were nice fish. And I'm going to see if uh, they're still there. I had to retie, so it's kind of out of commission there for a second. Let's see if we can get them started back up. They'll do like they did a while ago. And there'll be a whole bunch of them right here. Let's see. Let's see if this is how they do. when you use a heavier jig chances of getting hung up go through the roof but
tried not to let it go all the way to the bottom because these guys are kind of suspended, I think, for sure. Maybe in about six feet, eight feet at the most. Okay. I think that was a, uh, I think it was a warmouth. And I'm gonna tell you, I had a bunch of bites earlier where they kept, like, they wanted the jig to get all the way to the bottom. Then they'd hit it, hit it, hit it. And I think that's warmouth. I think they get, yeah, they like it on the bottom. And if they're, uh, I don't know if they're, on bed right now because their beds will be pretty deep a lot of times and they'll hit stuff and not eat it you know just mess with it and i was getting so many bites like that earlier which was causing me to fish deeper because that's where i was getting the bites it was deeper water but all these crappie that i've caught um have not been deep which is what i you know, thought today was going to be like. Let's go, man. Crappie? Yeah. This is fresh water? Yes. You should have broken the pole. Yeah, uh, I don't know how much further down you can go, but I always I'll put in here, and from here up, I'll catch them. Yeah. Is Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know there's people that I, I don't ever bass fish in here, but I know there's people that do. This this whole bank is pretty good. I've never tried to fish with minnows or anything, but I would think, you know, if you fish with the bank, you could you can catch fish. Yeah. All right, here's something else. Aha. Another little bluegill. Little guy. something nice big crappie yes sir there boys that's a good one check him out he knows how to pose. See how he turns his tail towards you? That's a pose. He's a big star. He's had his picture taken a lot. He knows what to do. <laughs> he thumped it really good. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, that guy. Woo. He held it. Really popped it. Little guy. But he tried real hard. And he and he succeeded. He got some something to eat. This wasn't what he wanted.
crappie, I think. Wow. Got Paul on the phone, guys. He, go, I called Chris, him. Go. I called him. I said, Paul, what do I need to do to catch fish? And he told me. And look at there. It's like that. Paul's a genius. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Tell me what hey, to you're do. You're welcome, Chris. He told me to do exactly what I was already doing. That's right. And I caught another fish. Look at that. Wow. Is he, is he good size? Yeah, it's about 10 inches. Woo! Like, or 10 inches. Well, actually, probably more like 11. Wow. All right, guys. This wind is picking up. It's just not going to it's just not gonna lay down the rest of the afternoon. So I'm going to call it quits. We did okay. Caught some, uh, caught some nice crappie. Uh, didn't really catch them, you know, for a long period of time. About a, I caught it for about an hour, and that was it. The rest of the time, I didn't, I didn't really get any bites at all. So, uh, you know, that's where it goes sometimes. But at least I caught some fish. So, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.